Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about using Procreate to make book covers. Last week I made a video about making a book cover and I used uh, KDP, Canva, and BookBolt. Today I decided to do one using Procreate because I know that that was one that I didn't use. And I will be doing more detailed videos about that later because I had a lot of people ask me questions about that. And so I'm going to slow it down and do a more detailed one video for each one of those. But for today, we're going to talk about Procreate book covers because that is a very easy way to do it. And it is something I didn't talk about before. Now here is a book cover that I made for my book that is on Amazon and it's called The Secret Door. I just took a bunch of different pictures, put them together. I made it look exactly how I wanted. This is only the front cover. And then I went into Amazon KDP and just had the, the made the back cover there. So uh, what we're going to do with today is we're just going to make a canvas and we're only going to worry about the front cover because you can make the back cover in Amazon KDP. And we're going to pick out some video, uh, some pictures that I had picked out before. I really liked this one. And then I also picked, I went to Unsplash to get these pictures if you're looking for a place to get pictures. There are many places that you can get uh, royalty free pictures or you can even pay for pictures or you might already have your own pictures, but I just got these from Unsplash. And I also really like this dog. And then I wanted to get here, this one here. So now I'm just going to cut, oops, start with that and then go like this. I'm gonna cut out each of these pictures and then put them together. Alrighty, so I'm going to use this tool right here and I'm gonna cut some of these out. Okay, so let's see. If I was gonna do this as my book, I would just go back in and find another, like just redo the frame. But since we're just doing this as an example, I wanna go like this and just have it like this. I just kinda like the idea of the frame like this. There you go. I want that hand in there. Okay, and then I want then I want to move the dog. I put him right here because I want to have the title here and then the name of the book down there. So 
I want to like leave the dog right here, but he's also the focus of what's happening. So I want him to be not exactly center, but kind of like over here looking back. I w and then I want this cat in the background to just be really sneakily just looking around. He's kind of like in the background there. I kind of want him to be here. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's just do that. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut out this thing, which was never making me happy anyway. All right, so I'm happy with this. I think it's pretty great. I'm loving it. I might want to make the dog a little bit bigger since the cat is on the other side. I might make the dog a little bit bigger. Put it right here. I have to leave the title and the other thing, but... Okay, so once we have the picture, we're going to go on to KDP, and then you sign in, and then you go to this page. Now you press create. I'm going to do this super fast. You press paperback. You put in your book title. You can put a subtitle if you want. Then you're going to put your name, and you can also use a pen name. Then you're going to put a quick description, and this is all stuff you have to do before you can put the picture in. Then you have the publishing rights. You put seven different keywords just to get people to search for your book. Unfortunately, you can't just put the cover in. You got to do all this stuff first. And then when we're done all this, we're going to pick two categories. Just try to pick whatever's closest to your book, unless you want to just pick something random. And then here we go. Now we're on the page where we can actually put your cover in. You're going to make sure you get the right size and then press bleed or non-bleed. This is where you put your paperback, uh, your manuscript, but we're just going to do the cover today. So here we are launching the cover creator. And some of these things take a long time, so I've edited it to be quicker for you. All right, uh, this is the page you're going to see. You're going to create, and then this is where you're going to upload your picture. And we're going to choose a design. You can choose from a lot of these different ones to see which one you like. I'm going to choose this one. I just think it looks the best. It's pretty blank, and um, so there we go. Now we've got all these things, and we just need to pick things and add them. First, I'm going to change the title, change the color, change the font, this kind of thing. So you can have fun with this. There's not much you can do. You can't really move it around or anything. You can't. You can just change the size and the color. You can't really change anything else. Then we are going to, after this, add a picture for the author. Now I am going to add. Here I am just playing with fonts. I'm going to add a picture that doesn't work. I'm going to show you how, how that happens. Sometimes you add a picture and the pixels, it says your, your pixels are not the right amount of size. So you can go into something like Photoshop and change it. Like see here, it says the exclamation point says like, this is not going to fit. So you can't publish with that. So then I'm going to add a different picture that has the right amount of pixels. So here I am at another picture. That one's going to work. And then I'm going to just change some stuff around here changing the sizes and the inscription on the back I made it really short because I want to show off the little cat that's over there so that's made it short but you can add whatever you want for yours the cat is supposed to be in the front but I wanted him on the back cover like he's being sneaky like he's behind everything and uh, so that's what I did for mine but you can do something do whatever you want for your book this is just showing you how it works Normally in a book, I would put a really long, long description, but we're just playing around today. All right, then you make sure everything works and then you uh, wait for it to update and show you what it looks like. Normally that takes about five minutes. So this is what it looks like. If I was gonna actually publish this book, I would go back in and change the stuff on the spine to be a different color because it's not working the way it looks right now. But other than that, this is what the book looks like. And I'm pretty happy with it. You can go in now and use Procreate to add whatever pictures you want, and now you know how to make a book cover using Procreate. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments, and I will answer any question I can. And also, if you have any more video ideas, you can put those in the comments as well. These are some examples of books that I have made. Most of these are notebooks. So I hope this has been helpful, and I will be doing more detailed videos about making books such as these in Canva, KDP, and BookBolt. And have a great day.